Hi, this is Brad from Power Tools. In this video, we're going to go through the theme settings. The easiest way to get to your theme settings is to click on the Edit Design button in the Filter Menu Admin. It'll just pop up a little message, press OK, and it'll open a new window with your theme settings. Here's one I prepared earlier. As you can see, we have the Filter Menu on the page. It has a bunch of options. And we do have the sections area here with the filter menu options. These are for adding swatches and images to the filters. For example, uh, we could add a different color for navy. And now our navy blue color has been updated. like so. However, most of the theme settings are under the theme settings tab. So we go to theme settings and then filter menu. Here uh, we're presented with options for adjusting what components are shown. For example, we can show and hide the refined section, uh, the current collection, the clear buttons if you select a filter, So we can disable the clear buttons and they go away um, and so on and so forth. You can play around with those as you need. Uh, we also have options for all of the groups. So we can uh, show groups with only one item, scroll a group if it gets too large, which is what you can already see here. We can enable that for all groups to force it across all of them. In this case, it won't have much of an effect because this one's already set to scroll. And we can also show the inactive filters when we enable the inactive filters, you can see them such as here, they're just grayed out. Another thing we can do is we can force all the filters to be drop downs, like so. This is quite useful, particularly if you want to do a horizontal menu. We can adjust the text for all of the text. So for example, in the refine section, we can adjust this to say filter or filter with capitals and that will update there. There's all the different text for the buttons and so on and so forth. We can also show a group for filtering by tags. This will just show us a, a list of all the tags. I think I'll just disable the, the drop downs to make it a bit easier to see. So you can see these are all the tags that we've got. It's not a particularly good list in this case. So we'll turn that back off. And we can also show the group tags. In this case, I think we'll go to view all because I do believe we've got some. And you can see we have tags for laces, material and style. If we want, we can also show a sort by group and we can show checkboxes on that group. So we can quickly adjust the sort order like so. And we can also uh, select which sort orders show. If we want to hide one, we just delete the text. So if we don't want to show those two, then they'll disappear like so. We now get into more of the design settings. So we can adjust the text color on the headings. I don't think that's a particularly nice color. Maybe a bit more blue in keeping with our filters. We can have the line underneath if we want, once again, some shade of blue, or we can make it transparent. We can adjust the font size, make it super big or subtle and small. That's probably a bit too small. We can also choose to override the font, such as that. And we can set the font weight. We can adjust the filter links. 
such as the like so once again let's go back to our kind of bluey colors our selected filters can be a, a similar shade something like so maybe something a bit grayer and as well the hover color we can adjust the font size and once again override the theme font the checkboxes can also be customized there's quite a few different types of checkboxes as you can see here with checks, crosses, ticks, all sorts of styles. You can even adjust the size. Like so. We also have options for adjusting the swatch size so we can make the swatches really big. And we can also adjust the alignment of the checkboxes. For our color swatches, we can do just the swatch or the swatch plus text. If we do swatch plus text, then it just uses the standard checkbox size. If we select a filter, we can adjust the clear button. We can give it a different background like so. We can give it different, maybe a different text color. Let's make this a little bit darker, a little bit more with our, our theme. We can also add a background color. So oh, that's probably a bit too much, but let's play around and let's make it quite subtle. Add a little bit of a border. too much, give the menu a bit of padding, let's say 10 pixels just to move everything in a bit and give it a bit of a bit of a rounded corner effect. As you can see our menu is looking quite different to how it originally looked. We can also adjust the mobile accordion so whether this shows or not, we can disable it so that the filters always show on mobile, like so. And we can adjust the color of that button as well. Something like so. We can also show the desktop accordion which allows us to expand and collapse all the filters. So for example, we can have only the first filter expanded and all the others collapsed up and they can be expanded as required. If we disable the accordions, just to show a bit more about the small box options. So we have a small box here. And so this is the background color and background hover. So maybe we'll change the background hover to be a little bit darker. So as you can see, it's like that. And the text hover, maybe we'll make that a bit more of a blue. Oh, it's not going to work like so. That background color probably needs to be a bit lighter like so. We can also add a view more button, which is usually used uh, as opposed to having the groups scroll. So as you can see here, we can have a view more button and then it drops into the scroll. Uh, you may not want to scroll with that enabled. We can also add an apply button. So this enables us to select multiple filter options. Oh. So we can select multiple filter options like so, and then apply them at once.
shoulder bags like that that are black and voila only it only updates once we press the apply button we can also enable ajax reloading so this is a little bit technical what we need to do is find the content selector so you can do this by um, right clicking and going inspect and you'll be able to find a container element ID that you can add in here. If your theme doesn't have one, you can, you may need to add one in yourself. As you can see, the page just reloads without doing a full page reload. The filters just update. However, it is worth bearing in mind this can interfere with some themes. So you may need to get your theme developer or us to set it up correctly. We also have advanced options, for example, only showing the filter menu on the collection pages. If you have a theme that has a sidebar on all pages, you can use this option to ensure that you only see the filter menu on the collection pages. If you want to keep your customers away from the all page, you can select this option where clear all goes to the current collection, not to the all page. So if we check that, and then press view, maybe we'll just do one more little change, and then we press view all, you'll notice it still stays on shoulder bags, it doesn't go to all. And if we uh, want to adjust the spacing between the filter items, we can just drag this slider and that will update and give us a bit more spacing, like so, and just space everything out. If we want to temporarily disable the filter menu, we can check this option and you'll notice the filter menu goes away. It can be useful for just debugging or finding issues. So that's a quick rundown of all the filter settings. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out our other videos for other tips and tricks about the filter menu.